involved, and in touch. This is News 3 HD at 6. A baraboo man is recovering after being bitten by a tiger. It happened this afternoon at the Wisconsin Big Cat Sanctuary just west of Baraboo off Highway 136 in Rock Springs. News 3's Jess Garb joins us now with more details on the incident. Jess? Well, the owner of the sanctuary and the wife of the man injured say that this was far from an attack, but that a volunteer was injured by a tiger who wanted to play. We love animals, and animals know that. To those who love them, it's hard to believe that this majestic jungle creature could hurt anyone. But to say Emily Meeker loves big cats is an understatement. Her devotion comes through even as her husband and fellow volunteer, John, was bitten by a Siberian tiger while putting water in his cage. He was just kind of leaning against the water bottle. We used the big water, the Culligan jugs, and Cat got his sweatshirt to play. One claw and um, did get his arm, pull his arm in the cage. Seven-year-old Khan bit Meeker once before letting go. The longtime volunteer was taken by med flight to UW Hospital with injuries to his forearm. They've already told me he's got full feeling in his fingers. He's, he's talking. He's never passed out at all from the whole thing. Um, he's joking. He actually told me before they put him on the med flight that to come back and tell Jeff and Jenny it's not their fault and to tell the cat it's not his fault either. Sanctuary owner Jeff Kozlowski says he doesn't see it as anyone's fault, just a freak accident that's never happened at the rescue before. He never growled, he was never, he was just playing. When I came down there and yelled, he, he let go, but he didn't know what he did. He's just a tiger and he was playing. He's going to be just fine. It was just a uh, isolated incident. The cat just wanted attention, mm -hmm. and and he was a little too close. The rescue's owner says he may consider adding additional fencing and advising volunteers on their clothing choices for assisting with the animals. The Sauk County Sheriff's Department is also still investigating. A matter. story we don't see every day. Jessica, our reporting. Jess, thank you very much.